Hi, I'm Jenny, and welcome back to my channel, if you've been here before. If you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Today, I'm going to share with you my recipe for lemony herbed potato salad. It is olive oil based as opposed to mayonnaise based. We're having meatball subs tonight and I wanted to keep my side dish light, but I'm one of those people that for some odd reason I need potatoes with dinner. I don't care what form, I need potatoes with dinner. <laughs> Let me show you how I make it. The first thing I'm going to do is put two and a half pounds of Yukon Gold potatoes um, into my pan and I'm using a big pan so I can have them all in a single layer. I'm going to get this filled about an inch of water over the top here. Okay. And then I'm going to throw in some salt. This is just some kosher salt. And get my burner on. I'm going to put it on medium-high. I'm going to cook these potatoes just until they're fork tender. Okay, so our potatoes are done and they are now cool enough to handle. They're still warm, um, but I can at least hold them in my hand. <laughs> I am going to peel mine. If you want to leave your peels on, you feel free. You can also use um, the small potatoes. Or fingerling potatoes, you can use those too. I'm just kind of scraping the skin off with my paring knife here. The nice thing about Yukon Golds is their peels are so thin. Make sure you cut out any bad spot of your potatoes. So I'm just going to peel these and then chunk them and get them into my bowl. Okay, I've got one bunch of green onions that I've just um, rinsed. This one has kind of a weird spot. I'm going to take that off. Um, but I'm just going to slice this. Oop. You rinse my knife. Alright, so I'm going to slice one bunch of green onions and put it into my potato salad. You're probably at a wrong angle and all you can see is the back of my hand. <laughs> okay, so I am dumping those in. I am going to throw in a handful of chives. I've just rinsed them. Motion detected at the backyard. Okay, I'm gonna save that little tiny bit for the top. Okay, so also I'm gonna throw in here some 
um, Italian herbs. This has parsley, basil, and oregano. And I don't normally buy my herbs like this, uh, but my husband brought it home. So um, I'm going to go ahead and use it up, and I'm going to use it in this salad here. I'm going to put about, oh, maybe a quarter cup of olive oil in a bowl. I am so running out of Dijon. <laughs> I use this stuff all the time, but I want a good tablespoon in there. Now, I am going to zest one entire lemon into this bowl. Oh, I love that smell. It's refreshing. And I'm going to put the juice of this whole lemon in here also. I should have put it in something else first because I got seeds. I do that all the time. Is that a seed? It is a seed. Motion detected at the backyard. Is that a seed? It is. Gosh darn it. Make sure that you do yours in a separate bowl before. Is that a seed? It is. I think that's all this. my tea strainer. All right. I'm going to put some fresh ground black pepper in here. A lot of it. And I'm going to put a palm full of salt in here, but here's the thing. Potatoes really need a lot of salt, so I'm going to actually put another um, teaspoon right into my potatoes. They may need even more yet. I want to get my potatoes and herbs tossed. This smells so good already and it's not even put together. I can't wait for dinner. <laughs> Every good dressing needs garlic. So I'm gonna use about two cloves of garlic. I don't want it too garlicky. I tell you what, for just one potato salad, I sure do have a mess in this kitchen right now. <laughs> My usual shenanigans. This one's so big, I'm going to cut it in half before I put it in my garlic crusher. Garlic press. Whatever you want to call it. I guess it's a Pampered Chef garlic press. I've had this thing like 26 years. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay. It's 
It's gonna get this stirred up. This is a really nice, refreshing potato salad. You wanna do this while your potatoes are warm so it absorbs your dressing. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in. This is almost the same vinaigrette I use in my pasta salad, only I use way more garlic. And this may need a little bit more olive oil, we'll see. Nah, I think we're good. This is excellent for summer picnics, barbecues. You know, I love the good old fashioned mayonnaise based potato salad, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but this is good too. I love so many different variations on potato salad. Um, it's January and it's still chilly for most of you outside. We're in Phoenix, so it's a little bit warmer here. Um, but we are doing meatball subs today, so I thought I'd keep my side dish light. Let me just taste it, make sure there's enough salt. I think the salt's perfect. Um, I'm gonna let this settle in and then when we eat it, we can salt it. Okay, I'm gonna put this right into a dish to put it in the fridge um, for dinner. I don't know if this dish is gonna be big enough. I might have to do two. Motion detected at the backyard. Actually, I think this will be just fine. And I have a tiny bit left in the bowl and I'll eat that with my lunch. And those herbs I saved off to the side are going right over the top because I'm just gonna serve it right in this dish. It's a glass bowl with a lid. So into the fridge so the flavors can marry. I just wanna add a little side note. While you're making the dressing for this potato salad, if you want to, you can add a half a teaspoon of sugar to that dressing. It kind of tames the acid a little bit. I never add it to mine, or rarely, I guess I should say, um, unless it really needs it. But um, that's definitely an option, and I will put that in the recipe. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot and I sure do appreciate your support. And while you're down there hitting the subscribe button, don't forget to ring the little bell for notifications. It will let you know every time I have a new video come out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.